Hey guys, it's Monday. Fuck me, I feel shit. <laughs> I didn't have a really good. I didn't have a very good night's sleep last night at all. But it's two degrees, so and it's nine o'clock. So I'm only ten minutes from the job where I live, and um, you know they probably would have let us start at eight. You know when it was about one-ish. Um, but yeah, you know if you're feeling, you know, if any, obviously you guys out there. You know, guys with kids like myself, if you, you know, you're up, disturbed night's sleep. Sleep's probably the, one of the main things that'll fuck you up. Um, so yeah, just pace your sound like today, I'll be just having a steady day. Mel was going to come in, but she's had it worse than I have, so, um, you know, time of year, you get a little bit of cold, niggly colds here and there, so, um, I'll take it steady, I think, you know. I'm going to build a corner, use my little trowel, I think, I don't know. We'll see, so, right, I'll check in with you later, I'm probably not going to record anything on the head cam, because um, my battery charger for my cutter we're, we're playing up this morning, um, but I've luckily got two batteries for it, so, alright guys, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, yeah, it's half, uh, quarter past ten, Jesus fucking Christ, I haven't felt this rough in a while, a uh, combo of low sleep, I was not at all Saturday. I didn't mention this in my last vlog, but all Saturday I was wiped out. Um, maybe you know a little bit workload related, you know. But uh, I'm never good today. Um, yeah, might have been that bottle of prosecco I drank, like. But uh, right, I'll show you what uh, show you what I'm doing today. Right. Got a little corner here, I'm using all these fucking knackered bricks. I've got a big tub today, I've got a big Marshall tub, so it should last me all day to be honest, because I'm just going to build. I've got to put my ties in here, where I've plugged them previous. I'm going to build this round, and this is about a four brick return, so all these dog shit bricks are all going in the back of that one. Uh, you know, I'll pick and choose where I'll put them. I'm uh, pretty much loaded, that's some bricks under there, bricks under there, I'm leaving them there for the brick on edge, um, got to ring up about a price for that, um, but yeah with that, we're, it's ten o'clock-ish, no it's quarter past ten now, with the time I, um, I'm starting today I'll probably get two days out of this wall, because my plan is, just build a big corner up to here, which is my finished height, some 75 mil above this steel, and then, uh, same with that side, I get my cutter out of the car, cut, nick the back of them off, big corner, run it in, and that should be me. I might put some brick in edge on top if I have time, but I feel that shit. I'm just glad to get this up. If I, if I do 300 bricks today, I'll be fucking over the moon. So, right, I'm also using a nice tile setter. You can see I've got the gobble, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not wet, but it's not stiff, it's a bit just perfect that you get you get about 25 percent less than that w rose on that one so you can pick that up and just it's supposed to the shape of the gobbo so now look at that look how much you can get on there that's more than i get on my w rose sometimes so perfect little trial for a, a nice easy day so yeah you can use it out of a bucket very well as well girl it up but european method right see you the next clip so it's, uh, it's half two, I haven't died, still here, I managed to get a couple hundred bricks laid at least, so I'll show you what I've got done, and I've probably got 150 bricks to run in now, and uh, that should get me another hour, and I'll be done easily, I would have thought, I'll just, uh, I'm going to set my camera up, so I've not brought my GoPro today. So I'm going to get a lot of these knackered old bricks and stack a little tripod up for camera so you can see what I'm doing. Right. Yeah, I feel like shit, but I managed to get that up. That took a lot of bricks, actually. It's a big, big, you know, one brick wide return. Uh, built that with level. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half. Messed about with that corner, cutting them little bits. I've just got this to run in now, so I'm just wrap the rest of that up. It took me about 10, 10 minutes. And then run in. I've got my gobbo waiting. 
Uh, maybe we got a bucket or two left until I use the two and a half today, two and a quarter. Fucking, fucking plumber wanted to use some for his shower trays. I won't bother because I fucking never, never need it all. So yeah, I'm gonna stack a little, get a tripod stacked up here, and uh, yeah, we'll walk away till end of day. Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Brick Lane vlog. Uh, today we're using the seven-inch trowel, as you can see from the thumbnail. Um, it turned out pretty well, you know. The the title is, you know, can you make money with a seven-inch trowel? And the answer is yes, you know, comfortably. Um, today wasn't a, a good day by any stretch of the imagination. It wasn't, a, I didn't get loads done. I turned up late, as what consider uh, every day I turn up late for most. But um, I was extra late today. I was after nine. So, um, lack of sleep, I had about three hours sleep last night. I had a couple of drinks, you know, you know it is, you know, uh, weekend will be like myself, uh, let it get the better of me, but I still turned up, I, I wanted to, I wanted to stay at home today, um, but there'll be plenty of time for that when it's banging it down, or it's fucking freezing, so, I, uh, I dragged myself out of bed, Mel didn't bother coming, because I always assess the work, work ahead of me in the day, and I just think, do I want an easy day, or do I want to actually have to do something? So I, I opted for the easy day, didn't fancy, you know, trying to make her wage. I don't always do it, to be quite honest. I don't always make her wage and earn what I want to, you know. But that's the that's the downside of being a one-on-one, -on -one. you know. You see, you'll see me on here with, you know, labourers, or you'll see Charlie earning, you know, his 70-odd pound an hour. Uh, but there's a lot of times where you're earning fucking half of that, or you're earning day work uh, if you're on an awkward lift or... Um, just on an awkward bit of work or you don't get your gear there's a lot of things you know where you know sometimes you don't cover the volumes to make a wage so i've opted today for a for a solo day um my plan was to sort of spin this wall out an extra day because i've got a uh i got the price of the brick on edge finally uh which is very good it's almost double what i used to get um a couple of years ago when i was last doing normal brick on edge um which is nice uh so, you know, it's made, a, it's made a job that where I'd have to rush in the past, I'd have to fly this up, you know, get there at 7.30, get this bit of wall up and then start blasting brick on edge on and then start trying to get some else loaded the day after, after I'd finished it. And, you know, with the prices these days, you know, you don't have to do that. You can make work last a lot longer depending on how long, how much you want to earn. Um, a lot of us, you know, in gangs... Um, maybe watch the channel they don't have that you know have the luxury you've got to get the you know the work done to cover the wages luckily i never have that that problem really uh, you know when i'm on my todd not really even with well uh but yeah so the, the seven inch trowel um you'll see at the end of the video what i get done today i'll, I'll show you what i earn in, a, in six hours um just on my own uh and it just highlights i think that it highlights the pros of price even when you're having a relatively steady day, you know, especially at the moment if you're on the right prices. I think I think we're on better prices where I live up north than, than they are down south, but it all depends who you work for and it depends how good you are as well, you know. You can easily work for the wrong firm and be getting, you know, a, a big percentage less than uh, than if you work for the right firm, you know, and that, you know, that takes, that takes you know, years in the trade and, that takes your own mentality as well to find out who you're going to work well, you know, what sub you'll work well with, or if you're working direct, what firm you'd work well with. And uh, so, you know, a lot, it comes down to a lot of subtle things, you know, that make it, you know, uh, make it a good time and a good earner and worth actually coming to work. Uh, there's, you know, I, I was on them concrete bricks, probably the worst four months I've had in the last three, last two years. Um, on concrete bricks, you know, I've had some good days on concrete bricks, but overall, you know, not great. <laughs> but that can, that's as easy as it can be, you know, as easy as just, you know, picking the wrong type of brick up can, you know, um, make it a bad job. So, anyway, as you've seen here, I'm using, um, just one at a time, pick and dip, as you can see. Uh, I got this trial for 30 quid. Um, I had someone recommend me at a W Rose, which I tried to get first. I couldn't find one for a sensible price, you know, considering these were 30 quid, and I'm only going to use it when I'm doing pick and dip and I've got all the gear set up how I want it. 
Um, you have to have your boards at waist height. You've got to have your bricks at waist height. You've got to have the right consistency of motor or what I'm doing right here just doesn't work. It's quicker to just use a 10-inch trowel if you haven't got everything set up. Um, I'll emphasize again, this is just for when you don't want to pick your trowel up. You know, if you have, if you want an easy day, you know, either aches and pains or you just, you don't fancy laying bricks today, grab this trowel and it'll not feel like you've laid any, you know. Um, can't take away from feeling tired, obviously. You're still going to feel like you've worked, but your arms aren't going to feel like they've worked as much as using a proper trowel and all the extra movements you, that come along with either, you know, putting a long, a long bed down or uh, or putting a perp on the brick. So this is just sort of easy mode day. Um, but it takes some getting used to this trowel. I'm, I'm determined to keep using it um, because, you know, there's I've got as much work done with this as I have a 10-inch. I've used it for two days now. And I like it, you know, I like it a lot. And uh, I like the fact, it, you know, me, I just don't feel like I've picked anything up uh, all day. So, <laughs> massive pro um, of this trowel. And, uh, you know, it just gets, you know, you maintain your speed a lot more as well with the weight of the trowel. As higher you go, you'll maintain your speed a lot more compared to using a bigger trowel where it gets heavier and heavier and more awkward to lift. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up for the uh finish up the voiceover part there i'm obviously quite a quite a bit going off in our lads room uh you know a daily the daily daily war the daily war home um, uh so i'll uh i'm gonna get put some music on for you guys i'll put some raw footage on as well and i'm gonna try and get a little bit of rest tonight and uh and i'll show you guys me doing some brick and edge tomorrow i'll show you how i do brick and edge i'm probably going to use this trial to be honest I'll show you how I do it. I do it a little bit different to a lot of people, and it's probably the quickest way I've I've seen brick on edge done. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's the best, but I'm saying uh, a bricklayer who I who I know is probably the quickest bricklayer I've ever seen does it like this, and I've found it's the quickest way you can get brick on edge meterage in as well. So I'll do a bit of a bigger video. I've got about 17 meters worth of brick on edge to go at tomorrow. I, you know, I measured it up just for reference so I knew how much was in it and uh, my PB in a day was 30 metres so I should easily get that 17 metre done I've got probably an extra another 50 odd bricks to put on this wall like a course or so uh, in the morning and then be just brick on edge all day so anyway guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button let's see if we can reach 40 let's see if we can reach 50 likes on this video I'm going to go because I'll add is having a meltdown. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next clip. I thought it was better to wallow and swallow my pride and admit. That my life was feeling so hollow And I couldn't handle it So I called a couple of friends And a caring specialist And I talked through all of my problems Till they started to shrink a bit well, Nothing's easy, but you gotta believe me You'll never truly be alone It's okay to ask for help Don't need to fix it all by yourself It's okay to find a friend To lean on and talk it out Talk it out It's okay to ask for help Instead of holding on to how you felt Sad can be addicting Even when it's awful Still easier than committing To face you might be missing And do the harder work of fixing All of the broken pieces out of place oh. 
Nothing's easy, but you gotta believe me You'll never truly be alone It's okay to ask for help Don't need to fix it all by yourself It's okay to find a friend To lean on and talk it out Talk it out It's okay to ask for help Instead of holding on to how you felt So don't be afraid to go on and reach out You. Oh, I know you'll find someone who helps you through the day It'll soon be clear when you find someone who hears you Find someone who loves the things you say oh. It's okay to ask for
So that's the uh, result you get with a 7 inch trowel. Joints pretty much, you know, 80% full, 90%, you know. It's the first time on a decent run with that 7 inch. And uh, yeah, got a few ricks down there. They're not bad for a, a, a day feeling rough. So there, just a short of 400 bricks here, what I counted. Just for an example, been here six hours today. With what I've got in there, including mixing my gobbo, it comes to about 270 quid. So for six hours, that's about 45 quid an hour. It's not quite since 70 an hour, like, but I'm fucking, I'm up Prosecco before I come to work, no joke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that just shows you why working on price is better than day work. You know, working at 25 quid an hour or whatever, getting more money for the time you're there, should you say. So yeah, right, I'm going to cleat shovel off and get off. See you in the next one.